been a while. I haven't posted anything on YouTube um, after my first actual video. So today I decided to see if I make another video for you guys. Um, it's a video on something I've been wanting to do for a while. So if you follow my Instagram, you'll see that I drag race the uh, Del Sol strictly with the up pipe coming out the hood. So I do have a full exhaust that I do run on the car when I street drive it. Um, but I, lately I haven't been driving it so much, so I've just left the up pipe on it. So I'm curious to see what the power difference is between the up pipe and the full exhaust. So I'm actually driving to the dyno right now um, and I'm going to do a few pulls with the full exhaust and the up pipe pretty much back to back so we can get a good idea on if there's like a substantial power loss or if there really isn't one. So let's see what happens. Alright, so we've made it down here to West Fry Racing's dyno. Um, just gonna get this thing unloaded so we can get started. Right, we got Chi over here. We got her all strapped down to the dyno. Um, right now we're gonna do our first pull with the full exhaust and see how it goes. Right, so we're over here at the dyno. Car is all strapped down. So you can see it's got the downpipe on it and it's got it's a full three inch exhaust to a vibrant muffler. There's no resonator or anything, so we're gonna see what it puts down as is. Now the car is going to be on my drag tune so it should hit about 30 pounds of boost. So we'll see what happens. Alright guys, so we did one pull uh, with the full exhaust. You can see there it made 663 and 450 torque. Now we did no tune changes on this versus when I run the up pipe. So now we have swapped back to the up pipe. And we're gonna run it on the same exact tune and see what it makes, see if it makes more or less. just put the full exhaust back on since we did three pulls with the up pipe that made less power than the first run so right now we're trying to see if that first run was just a fluke or if it does make more power with the full exhaust yo that is crazy back to back pulls with the full exhaust are up here and three pulls back to back with the up pipe are down here. I guess the B16 likes to have a full exhaust. It does. That's a lot of torque. So we're talking like, we're talking about 660 to 587. Damn, between the full exhaust and the up pipe at the yeah, same RPM. Yeah. That makes no sense at all. But it's not a fluke. No. It literally backed up that first run. It's like what, an hour later? Yeah, so, and it's hotter out. Yeah. All right, so now we took the muffler off. It still has the down pipe and the mid pipe. And we're just gonna see what it does now in comparison. <laughs> Eddie says 700, I don't know about that. but I did put up some pictures of the dyno plots. Uh, the interesting thing here is that on all the runs, the power is basically identical up until where the power does drop with the up pipe. Now I did speak to my tuner and he did, does think that it might be the car actually sucking in its own fumes. But what we're gonna do is hopefully this weekend go to the track and see how the trap speeds compare. 
Now, another thing that I forgot to mention is that you can see on some of the videos that the AFRs are extremely rich. Now, the car has always been in the low 10s, um, but this weekend I might try to tweak it to try to get it more so into like the mid to high 10s, which is still rich, but hopefully that can help it clean up a little bit on the last 1500 or so RPMs uh, of the power band and hopefully make it trap a little bit higher um, but other than that I'm very happy with the results today especially seeing that the power is almost identical between the full exhaust and the up pipe it kind of makes you want to just ride the car around with the full exhaust since it's so much quieter and it's a lot more low-key so I might make that switch very soon.